Hi everybody, this is Christoph from Click. With this video, I would like to show you how you can use Google Forms to collect information from people and live query them into a ClickSend application. To do so, you will need the Web Connector package, which is free of download. You can find the link down here. And you will need ClickSense and a Google subscription. So let's go. So first of all, you need a Google account. I have mine here and then you can go to um, forms.google.com and we will create a new blank form. Let's key in a few questions here. We will add another question and then we can um, actually go and test the whole thing. So click on send and click on the link button. That is the link that you can also share. So my name is Bob and I'm doing something in the middle and the response has been recorded. What we also need to say here under responses is where to save the responses to. We want to uh, create a spreadsheet here and say create a new spreadsheet. So let's test it once again. Click on preview and this time I'm Maria, I'm doing good. The response has been recorded and you can see automatically new lines coming in here. So the next thing is we will pick up that spreadsheet with click connectors. I happen to have uh, my click web connectors installed on C web connectors and you can also start it as a service if you like. If this is a server I would recommend to do so and this will open um, on localhost 5555 the connector package. And there are some connectors like Google Drive and Spreadsheet connector which is free of charge. Now we have to start with can authenticate. Let's click authenticate and it's trying to connect to Google. I'm giving my account where the spreadsheet is saved and after allowing access I will receive a code which I copy to the clipboard then go back to the web connectors. I paste the code in here, save, and now I should be able to save the inputs and run it. And when I get back authenticated through, I am able to use all these query methods now. So I can get a list of the spreadsheet content actually. So here is one of the uh, spreadsheets that I have just created. It has a unique key. I copy this to the clipboard and then I want to get the worksheets, for example, to list the worksheets. The spreadsheet key is this one. So it has exactly one worksheet inside the spreadsheet and that is titled form response. It has also a key, a worksheet key this time, which is a bit longer than the original key. I copy this to the clipboard and now I go back to get worksheet, parameters. I paste that worksheet key I just copied. 
and now I get the responses and all the future responses that will be there and here under the download links uh, let's choose the tab separated file format and we right click here and copy the link address now we will create a new application the Google Sheet application and click on new data source from the dialog pick web file and then we paste the URL you can see it reads format TSV at the end and this is our Google sheet and we will get a file preview momentarily the delimiter in this case is the tab and the character set is UTF-8 and let's add data go into edit mode let's quickly get a response table here so we've got four responses as of now and when we add another response from Astrid and she is doing good go back to our app and hit reload we will see that we have now five answers if that was a server you can now create a task that loads that spreadsheet every minute so you have a almost real-time list of all the responses in your app and with that I say thank you for watching and see you in the next video